All right, Tyler, thank you. Well, today, loved ones came together to honor the life of a fallen Hendricks County deputy. You might remember earlier this week, Deputy Fred Fistler lost his life while responding to a crash, and today was his funeral. Our Russ McQuaid was there for the final farewell and has more from Hendricks County tonight. The flags flutter at half staff in front of Cloverdale High School in memory of fallen Hendricks County Sheriff's Deputy Fred Fissler. Mourners lined up to pay their respects to Deputy Fred Fissler, who died when he stepped on a live electrical wire while responding to a car accident in Hendricks County last week. The deputy's car, covered with flowers and an American flag, sat outside the high school where citizens and the policemen and women sworn to protect them arrived for the simple semi-private ceremony for the father of two young children. Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter spoke on behalf of Governor Eric Holcomb and all those Hoosiers who could not attend the funeral services. As I've talked to people from all over the, the state of Indiana since it's occurred, and um, today's Freddy's day. Afterwards, the deputy's casket passed through an honor guard of law enforcement as a dispatcher called out the fallen officer's final 1042 end of duty. Deputy Fissler demonstrated commitment, professionalism, and dedication every moment of every day, and proudly wore the badge as a warrior for his community. Thank you for your service, your bravery, and your commitment to your community. Hendricks County Deputy 32 Edward 32, Fred Fissler, 1042. As a procession of friends, family, and law enforcement accompanied Deputy Fissler to his final resting place. In Cloverdale, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.